So let's just begin the last meditation by establishing ourselves once again in the body with a kind attitude towards our body and any experience that we have, any sensation in the body, making adjustments if necessary, and any thought or emotion that's passing through the mind. Recognizing that whatever our experience, it's arisen from causes. It's impermanent and subject to change. So just making peace with this moment without clinging to any experience you had in the past and without making any demands on the future. Just sitting, enjoying this moment for whatever it is. And just noticing how wonderful, how easeful it is to sit together with our spiritual friends on the path. Hopefully feeling safe, accepted, at ease. and acknowledging the beauty of our own intentions in coming here to practice. The gift of even a little bit more understanding about the path that you have given to yourself. And just thanking yourself for showing up, for doing your best. Perhaps once again, offering yourself words of loving kindness that capture your own goodwill to yourself. And saying those words with real sincerity and care.
And noticing any calming or soothing effects of your own loving kindness. Just noticing without expectation or judgment. And then bringing to mind someone you deeply care for. Someone you love in a very pure and simple way. This person may be a benefactor, someone who's helped you on the spiritual path. Perhaps a wise colleague or a very dear friend. Maybe even a pet or one of those cute rabbits at the side of this building. (laughs) Anything that makes you smile inside. And picture that person or that rabbit in front of you, content, at ease, happy and well. And allow those feelings and thoughts of loving kindness, of contentment and ease to spread to this being to suffuse them with kindness and care. Staying in touch with your own body, especially any feelings associated with that loving kindness. Feelings of well-being and ease. And smiling at this being from your heart to theirs. (coughs) Suffusing them with loving kindness. keeping them protected and safe. Perhaps expressing your goodwill And imagine this being's eyes brightening, shining, smiling back at you.
And now very naturally just allow any feelings, any sensations to start exuding, as it were, from your body into this room. You may experience this as energy of loving kindness or perhaps imagine it as a golden light shining on everyone in this room equally. Just as the sun shines impartially on all, may everyone here who've been practicing with me today, supporting me in my own practice, May everyone be safe and well. May we all be happy. Peaceful. And liberated from all suffering. Just imagining all the people in this room being bathed in this golden light or warm, soft energy of loving kindness, relaxing all of us, relaxing our bodies and the tensions and strain in the body, relaxing our tired or worried minds. May we all keep growing in Dhamma and experience deeper happiness and peace. And imagining the combined effect of our loving kindness building up in this room. Starting to escape through the windows and the doors and spread down the street to the rabbits, first of all, to the worms under the lawn. And in this whole neighborhood, boulders green, to all the taxi drivers, the people in the streets, the dogs on leads, all beings in this area, the birds and the insects. People enjoying the company of a friend or maybe beings in hospital sick even afraid for their lives. May all beings in this area receive our loving kindness and experience safety, ease and peace. And this loving kindness keeps spreading across this huge city. To all different beings. Those engaged in good deeds right now and those creating harm and suffering for themselves and other beings. May they all receive our loving kindness.
May they all be safe. At ease, happy, and at peace. And keep allowing this loving kindness to keep spreading through the whole country, from top to bottom, throughout the UK. And beyond in every direction, to the east, the rest of Europe, the Middle East, Russia, China, all across Asia. To the south, Southeast Asia, Australia, New Zealand, Africa. South America, the South Pole, all beings in the South and over to the West, all beings, human or non-human. far or near, visible or invisible, all beings, whoever they are. And this loving kindness spreads to the north, enveloping this whole planet Earth, outwards and unbounded, without hostility, without ill will, lighting up this whole beautiful planet Earth with a golden glow, spreading into the skies where there are beings, birds, insects, maybe invisible beings, Spreading into the oceans, the rivers, lakes, to the fish, the turtles, coral, anything that's alive. And deep down into the earth, where the moles and voles and wombats live in their tunnels, all beings who desire happiness and recoil from pain, may they all receive our loving kindness indiscriminately. Simply because they breathe May all beings, human or non-human, find peace, find true happiness and freedom from all suffering, Nibbana itself. Spreading this metta even beyond the confines of this earth that we know and sometimes abuse into outer space, the solar systems, galaxies, wherever there may be life. May all beings be well, happy and peaceful.
And may I be well, happy and peaceful too. Just one among all these beings, countless, immeasurable numbers of beings. I too deserve happiness and peace. So slowly bringing in this energy of loving kindness back into this room, into your heart, the source. And just resting with any sensations that feel fairly pleasant or neutral. Just receiving the experience and receiving the blessing to end the day. Sape Sata Sape Pana Sabe Buddha Sabe Pugala Sabe Atta Bawa Pariapana Sabe Etio Sabe Purisa Sabe Aria Sabe Anaria Sabe Dewa Sabe Minusa Sabe wini parika Awe ra hon tu Abya paja hon tu Aniga hon tu Suki at Nam Pari Havan to Duka Munjan to Yada Lada Sampatito Maui Kachan to Kamasaka.